G'day, welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 31st of August 2011. Let's start with prayer. Merciful Lord God, we come now to worship you in spirit and in truth. Cast your light upon us so that we may reflect your beauty and majesty to all those around us who do not know you personally. And we ask this, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. Let's have our Bible readings. Our first reading is from Matthew chapter 19 and verse 24 to 27. Jesus speaking. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Peter answered him, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? Our second reading is from Philippians chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. The Apostle Paul writing, What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God and is by faith. I wonder what you have given up since you became a Christian, or indeed to become a Christian. From our Bible readings we know that the early church, and in particular Peter and Paul, that they gave up everything in order to follow Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ called you to follow him, he bid that you die to self and follow him wholeheartedly. Again I ask you, what have you given up in order to follow this Jesus that you claim to serve and follow? You are called as a Christian disciple to love God with all your heart, soul, mind and will. And you are called to exhibit this love practically in loving other people. My wife and I have given up almost everything to follow him in creating this ministry of partakers. For a brief synopsis, we have left our families in our home countries of South Korea and Australia. We've given up our own home in London and a good job with a good salary. And we did all this to go serve God ultimately with partakers via theological college. And he keeps calling us to follow him faithfully. I don't say this in order to gain any glory for myself, but rather to glorify the God who called me and my wife to follow him wholeheartedly. And for us, that meant partakers. Again I ask, what have you given up in order to follow this Jesus Christ you claim to serve? Let's now take a short period of silence to reflect and pray on these three things. What Jesus Christ has given up for you, what you have and can give up for him, and how you can practically exhibit your love of him with all your heart, soul, mind and will.
Father God, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. For we ask them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now as we close, let's have the benediction. May the love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Wednesday Worship. See you again real soon.